It's a great day to hug your goaltender, folks. What's up, Caps fans? Yes, all hail King Charles. The Chuck Wagon stood on his head on Wednesday night against the Los Angeles Kings, stopping 38 of 39 King shots to secure the 2-1 victory for his Washington Capitals. Phenomenal performance by the Caps goaltender. The Los Angeles Kings were the highest scoring team in the National Hockey League coming into this game, by the way. Um, so, you know, they were averaging more than four goals per game. Charlie Lindgren did not give a single fuck. Not one, okay? Not one fuck. First period. Right off the bat, it's a two-on-one situation for the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, but Charlie Lindgren, he makes the huge save to keep it 0-0. The Kings would then, however, score their first and only goal of the hockey game. Um, and it came on what was a pretty unlucky bounce for the Caps as the puck ricocheted perfectly off of the end boards. That is a home team bounce right there. Uh, it lands right onto Arthur Kelly of stick and boom, it's in the back of the net. Uh, one to nothing for the Kings. And I just have to say, okay, um, before we do get into some more positivity here, um, because there is a lot of that to go around as well, um, but I just have to make mention of this because there was a shift at about the 10 minute mark of the first period here where Evgeny Kuznetsov, he committed four turnovers in one single shift, okay? Go back and watch it. Like, seriously, seriously, you guys, go back and watch it. Um, because I could not believe what I was seeing here. Like, in the span of only about 30 seconds here, four turnovers by number 92. Um, I didn't even think it was humanly possible for one guy to commit four turnovers in one shift. But here we are. 7.8 million bucks, koozie. Be better, please. Then the Caps, they get a goal from their third line to tie things up. Anthony Mantha with the nice finish of a sweet saucer pass from Connor McMichael after those two had been sprung on the two-on-one rush thanks to a nice outlet pass from line mate Alexei Protas. Uh, so it is a 1-1 game. Uh, Mantha's fourth of the season, assisted by McMichael and Protas. Uh, and I am telling you right now, stay tuned because this line was phenomenal all night long. After that goal by the Caps, the Kings, they come right back down to try to take back the lead, but Chucky makes another massive stop. And okay, just one more time, I have to mention it here, because I think literally every time Evgeny Kuznetsov touched the puck in that first period, it was a turnover. Like, what are we doing here? Then we have got a weak as hell penalty call on Dylan Strom to finish off the period. It was called a slash when in reality it was a love tap really, um, you know, that wouldn't have injured even a frail 80 year old, but whatever. Um, the Caps, they kill it off anyway. Second period, the Caps, they kind of take over the game here, possession wise, okay, um, but they can't convert, at least not yet. Then the Kings get a chance, Adrian Kempe on a breakaway, but Chucky Lindgren makes yet another huge save to keep it one-to-one. -one. And the Caps would then kill off another Kings power play to still keep it one-to-one. -one. And then shortly after that, the third line would get rewarded again in the form of another goal on the board. Uh, like I said, really being rewarded by the hockey gods for another absolutely killer shift. Um, you love to see it. They had the Kings absolutely hemmed in their own zone, uh, putting heavy pressure on them, generating scoring chances. And when one scoring chance wouldn't go in, they would simply bust ass to get the puck back again. You know, heavy forecheck, turning pucks over, keeping pucks alive, wash, rinse, repeat, right? Um, until one finally finds its way into the back of the Kings net. Connor McMichael... Again, um, he is on the board. He bats the puck out of mid-air for the goal. It was a beauty. Um, if you haven't seen the replay, I encourage you very much so to check it out. Um, but yeah, he bats this puck out of mid-air, like I said, for the goal. That's his fifth of the season already, assisted by Anthony Mantha and Alexei Protas. Um, and I have got to tell you guys, like this Twin Towers line, 
of Connor McMichael down the middle uh, with the two big rigs of six foot six Alexei Protas on one side and six foot five Anthony Mantha on the other side. It's really working for me. It really is. Um, and it worked again right here, putting the caps up two to one late in the second period. And it was really very nice work by all three forwards here on this goal. Um, they all certainly earned their points on the goal as there were no passengers here. You know, like I said, with the heavy forecheck, the crashing and banging, McMichael drives to the net for the, for the first chance initially. Um, that one is stopped by Cam Talbot, but then McMichael, he hustles over to the boards and wins the puck battle against the Kings defender to keep the puck alive for the Caps. And then Mikey, he gets the puck to Mantha, who dishes it to Protas in the slot. Protas kind of draws everyone over towards him, right? Um, draws everyone over towards himself, and then he makes a nice return feed to Mantha down by the net, uh, with Mantha being left all alone there, now unchecked, because Protas, like I said, he drew everyone over towards himself before making the pass back to Mantha. So just a beautiful play, um, beautiful patience there by one of the kids in Alexei Protas. Um, and Mantha, he takes that puck straight to the net, which is exactly what you should do. Love to see this from him. Who is this guy? Like, where was this Anthony Mantha last season and the season before that? My God. Um, but yeah, Mantha, he takes that puck straight to the net, which like I said, is just what you want to see from him. Um, and he gets another chance on Talbot, which Talbot stops. But that leaves Talbot out of position for the rebound, which like I said, Connor McMichael bats it out of midair. Um, with no problem really uh, for that goal. So um, great hand-eye coordination there by McMichael um, and just great, great stuff all around there from the Caps third line, if you want to call them that. Um, you know, I'm putting that in quotation marks because I don't know if you can really call them that anymore with how they're playing. Um, it is big boy hockey at its finest right now um, being played by that line. Uh, and I personally am loving every single minute of it. Okay, third period, right? Um, the Kings, they get a goal, but it is pretty clearly offside here. Um, so the Caps coaching staff, they challenge it and hallelujah, baby, hallelujah. Um, it does indeed come off of the board. And why is that such a big deal? You might ask, why am I yelling about it? Um, I mean, aside from the fact that it obviously preserves the lead in this game for the Capitals, um, but it is also a very big deal because the Washington Capitals, until today, um, they had previously been 0 for 8. 0 for 8 in coaches challenge scenarios this season. So it is about time, the first call all season that goes the Capitals way. And hey, it only took 19 games. Um, so totally normal stuff. So after that, I knew there was no way that we were going to lose this hockey game. Um, and sure enough, Charlie Lindgren makes another massive save. And then the rebound bounces right to a Kings player at the side of the net. He has got a wide open cage here to shoot at, but it doesn't matter because Rasmus Sandin comes flying across out of nowhere and makes the save on the wide open net. Absolutely massive, massive shot block by the Sandman there uh, to keep it a two to one game for his Washington Capitals. And how fucking phenomenal has Rasmus Sandin been? ever since we got him, really, from the Maple Leafs. Um, and he's still only 23 years old. 23 years old. Like, he had, what was it, 19... No, 19 games played for the Caps last season, and he had 15 points, right? Um, this season, I believe he is second on the team in ice time behind only John Carlson, and he's been, like, a defensive stud for this team. Um, 23 years old. Thanks, Toronto. Don't really know what you guys were thinking there, but thanks. Then it's another penalty called on the Washington Capitals. Um, so the Kings, they go back to the power play with about eight minutes left in the game, but the Caps kill it off once again. Um, how clutch has the penalty kill been for the most part this season, late in games especially? Uh, so they kill this one off once again, and again, they maintain their two to one lead. And the last few minutes of this game were basically just every single guy on the Caps 
um, you know, basically just completely selling out his body, you know, blocking shots, diving in front of pucks, um, doing absolutely anything and everything to get the win here uh, against a very high powered Kings team. And so that is exactly what you love to see out of your squad. You know, everybody buying in, everybody pulling on the rope, um, everybody doing whatever the hell it takes to win on any given night. That is amazing. It's fun to watch. It's fun to watch Caps hockey again. It's winning hockey. Um, so good times here and it is being reflected in the standings right now for the Washington Capitals. All right, Caps fans, that is it for me for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button down below uh, and click on that subscribe button as well if you haven't already done so. Until next time, babes, and as always, let's go Caps.